that we'll go to the procedure. I know you've all heard it before. But Can we check uh, on Carolyn, uh, Cheryl, just for a moment, see if her sound is working? She's got a, she's muted. Oh, I see, okay. Right, she is muted. Um, right, the opening statement. Welcome all members and officers to this meeting of Subject Overview and Scrutiny Committee 2, which due to government advice is being held virtually with committee members and officers accessing this meeting from re remote locations. The meeting is being recorded and will be available via the Council's website to be viewed subsequently. Please can everyone ensure that all mobile phones are switched off or set to silent. Members will have received an electronic copy of the agenda pack on Thursday of the 5th of November and for the record the agenda can be viewed on the Council's website. Members and officers will be speaking at various points during the meeting and those speaking may switch their cameras on and obviously they might microphones but with the exception of myself the chairperson can you keep your cameras and microphones switched off to minimize any background noise and interference and to ensure the connection will remain as stable as possible. Please do not use your microphone until I invite you to do so. Officers from Scrutiny will be supporting the meeting and will be monitoring the use of microphones throughout the meeting and where necessary will mute those not being used. If members or officers wish, wish to speak to raise a point or question, please use the in, instant messaging to, uh, to, uh, to enter questions or comments. Right, I will now ask uh, Meryl to announce the members who are currently in attendance. Thank you, Meryl. Thank you, Chair. Uh, in attendance today, we have councillors Hussein Webster, Green, David Wright, Gary Thomas, councillor Janice Lewis, councillor Mike Clark, councillor Sorrel Dendy, councillor Anil Pachella and councillor Phil White. Thank you, Mayor. We'll now move to item one on the agenda, and that is to receive apologies from her absence, which I will hand over to Tracy, but would add I have received an apology from Councillor Martin Jones this morning. Thank you, Chair. Yes, I've received the apology from Councillor Martin Jones, and in addition, I have apologies from Councillor Mike Clark. And Councillor Tim Thomas and in addition Councillor Phil White will be joining the meeting late due to attendance at a prior meeting which overlaps this one. Thank you. Right, thank you for that Tracy. Item two on the agenda, are there any declarations of interest please councillors? Councillor Mark, Mike Clark has indicated he is here. Yes, Chair, I just got, I got called as being here and I've been given apologies. Right, okay, thank you. We can note of that. But I'm thinking there are no declarations of interest. So can I move now to item three for the approval of the minutes? Now, I was not at this meeting personally, so um, I would not be able to comment on these at all. But uh, can I have a mover and a seconder? Or if there is any queries and qu or questions, please. Chair. Second. Okay, all agreed. I'll take yeah. silence as approval. Right, a minute are approved. We're now going to move back to Tracy, who's going to take us through the forward work program update. And what I appreciate is that we may have issues arising when we next meet with the chief. Uh, and that things will have to be brought for put on the, the forward work program. So I, I'm not concerned at this moment in time that it's not overly loaded. Okay, over to you, Tracy. Thank you, Chair. Um, first of all, apologies. Um, in, in my apologies for absence, I should have said Councillor Mike Kern and not okay. Councillor Mike Clark. So it was my, uh, my error, so my apologies to Councillor Mike Clark. Um, okay, so we move to the forward work programme update. So um, it's not my intention to read this uh, forward work programme update out in full. However, I'd like to take members briefly through the report, starting at point three, the scrutiny update. 
Members will know that following the lockdown in March, scrutiny committees were initially postponed as the Council focused upon key priorities in response to the COVID-19 pandemic. A report to Cabinet in June requested that the Corporate Overview and Scrutiny Committee consider the creation of a cross-party recovery panel, which at their meeting in July approved and established a panel with the aim of shaping, informing and advising Cabinet on the Council's recovery planning to form the basis of the recovery phase of the pandemic. The panel met six times in August and produced recommendations to the Corporate Overview and Scrutiny Committee in September, which were reported to Cabinet a week later. A formal response from Cabinet is expected shortly. The recovery panel is now awaiting the Public Services Board's Community Impact Assessment to consider the findings before selecting its next area of focus to be examined in greater detail. Members of this committee will then have attended the combined meeting of Subject Overview and Scrutiny Committees 1 and 2, which took place in July, to consider reports on post-16 education and learner travel. This was postponed from March. Recommendations for post-16 education were considered by Cabinet in July, who took a decision on the preferred option and then considered the recommendations upon learner travel in September deferring that decision to amend the local authorities' learner travel policy until after the review of the current statutory distances by Welsh Government in March 2021. The Budget Research and Evaluation Panel meetings commenced in July and to date four meetings have taken place, with the final meeting due to take place in December. In terms of the schedule of meetings for the remaining municipal year, these were agreed at annual council in September, and as the recovery panel has now been established, it is recognised that moving forward, meetings of subject overview and scrutiny committees would need to be focused and strategic to avoid a duplication of work. Members will most likely also be aware that the council has been advised that the local government financial settlement from Welsh Government will be later than expected. This means that scrutiny of the medium-term financial strategy will need to be considered by scrutiny committees after Cabinet considers the draft proposals on the 19th of January and not in the December cycle of meetings as originally planned. Consequently, arrangements will be made to move the dates of the January meetings to facilitate this and an announcement will be made at Council next week. With these changes in mind, it is proposed that at its next meeting on the 14th of December, it would be timely that the committee receives a verbal update from the corporate director upon the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic upon the social services and wellbeing service area and the operational response. With regards to the meetings of scrutiny after the MTFS, the committee is asked to identify any further items for consideration on the interim forward work programme for the remainder of the municipal calendar of meetings using the prior agreed criteria form. This emphasises the need to consider issues such as impact, risk, performance, budget and community perception when identifying topics for investigation. This does not necessarily have to be done at today's meeting as the committee will have the opportunity at each meeting to revisit its forward work programme and members may in fact wish to wait until the next meeting of the committee to set through the topics following the verbal update from the corporate director. In terms of scrutiny member training at point 4.8, members may recall that the Welsh Local Government Association questioning skills training for scrutiny members and training for scrutiny chairs was postponed due to the national lockdown. However, the WLGA can now offer this training via Microsoft Teams and it is therefore proposed that two sessions be arranged with dates to be confirmed. One session of scrutiny questioning skills for all scrutiny members and one session of scrutiny chairs training for all committee and panel chairs. These are the main points of the report that I wish to highlight and at this stage I refer you back to the chair for any questions from members before taking you to the recommendations at point nine. Thank you. Thank you very much Tracy. I don't actually have any questions uh, registered. Do, is there anything that anybody would like to add? I think Tracy has covered that very well. And if there are no questions, I'll move straight to uh, 9.1 A, B and C and ask for a mover and a seconder, please. I'll move, Chair. Yeah. Sure. Thank you very much. Right, we will now move on to the next item on the agenda. And Tracy, will you be taking us through this one? This is for the uh, Corporate Parenting Champion nomination. 
report? Yes. Yes, I will, Chair. Okay, so thank you, Chair. The purpose of this report is to request the committee to nominate one member at its corporate parenting champion to represent the committee at, as an invitee at meetings of the Cabinet Committee Corporate Parenting. The role of the corporate parenting champions to represent their overview and scrutiny committee partaking in discussions with Cabinet over items relating to children in care and care leavers. It is also suggested that in this role, each champion considers how all services within the remit of scrutiny affect children in care and care leavers and encourage their own committee to bear their corporate parenting role in mind when participating in scrutiny. Scrutiny champions can greatly support the committee by advising them on the ongoing work of the Cabinet Committee and particularly any decisions or changes which they should be aware of as a corporate parent. Can I therefore ask for nominations from members of the committee? Chair. Thank you, Tracy. Yes. Uh, I'd like to re-elect Councillor David White, please. Re-elect Councillor David White. Do I have a seconder? I second that, Chair. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor Pachella. No further nominations. Well, I duly declare that Councillor White has been nominated to the Corporate Parenting Committee. Thank you very much. Congratulations, David, and welcome, Jane. I see you, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, members. Thank you very much, Chair. I'm, I do apologise for my tardiness. I had an urgent business item I needed to um, take care of. No problem, Jane. Right, we'll now move on to item six, which is to nominate a member to the Public Service Board Scrutiny Panel. And I would say over to you again, Tracy. OK, thank you, Chair. The purpose of this report is to request the committee to nominate one member to sit on the Public Service Board of Scrutiny Panel. Um, from 1st of April 2016, the Wellbeing of Future Generations Act 2015 introduced statutory public service boards across each local authority in Wales. PSBs work together to improve the social, economic, cultural and environmental well-being of the board's area. The Act specified that one committee take an overview of the overall effectiveness of the board, which the authority determined to carry out via a PSB scrutiny panel and sits under the remit of the Corporate Overview and Scrutiny Committee. The purpose of the panel is to review and scrutinise the efficiency and effectiveness of the PSB and its decisions, as well as the governance arrangements surrounding it. The panel will hold up to two meetings a year and will make reports or recommendations to the board regarding its functions with the aim of enhancing its, in, in, its impact. These recommendations are to be presented to the Corporate Overview and Scrutiny Committee for approval prior to the submission to the board. Can I therefore ask for nominations for members of the committee? Thank you. Thank you very much. I have had a, a nomination from Councillor Mike Clark of Councillor Sorrel Dendy who is currently, I believe, our representative. Can I have a seconder for Councillor? Oh. Thank you very much. No other nominations? Well, congratulations, Sorrel. You have been nominated as our representative on the Public Service Board. Thank, Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Right, we move to item seven, and I have no urgent items, and I realise that this is probably the shortest meeting I have ever chaired in my life. Um, but basically, without any invitees, it was just simply those three short items. And I'd like to thank you all very much for attending. It's very well attended, considering we didn't have a huge agenda. But uh, can I wish you all well during this pandemic? Keep safe. And I look forward to meeting you in the flesh at some time in the future. Thank you. <laughs>